Hello mga kamagshots! I'm your business boy Milo. Welcome to Magnegosyo every Monday at 8pm. Sikat ngayon ng NFT o tinatawag na non-fungible token and alam mo ba? Dito sa Pilipinas, mayroon ng isang Pilipino ang nagtatag nito. Siya isang cryptocurrency trader and entrepreneur. He leads in putting up a digital platform that involves selling and auctioning stuff online para sa mga Filipino artists. Siya si Mr. Julio Santillan. Sa season na ito, ikukwento at ipapakita nila kung paano nagsimula mga challenges, success, at paano binago ang buhay nila. Mga kamagshots, we will give you Magnegosyo featuring Vention App, the first NFT marketplace in the Philippines on Mag-NFT Marketplace na. Mga convention, welcome to Mug NFT Marketplace na. And this, at ngayon, meron po kami isang super special kasama, isang guest. Siya po ay isang kilalang film and digital and also TV director. Siya po, Direk Yang Albano Grande. Welcome to this. Can you please tell us more about yourself, about your career? How did it I am, by profession, a teacher. Oh, wow. That's I have a cousin who's into this business. Uh -huh. She brought me to a taping. Uh -huh. and then I, I suddenly felt like, you belong uh -huh. dito ako, ha? Oh, <laughs> di ba? Oh my God. Paano ka naman napunta sa venture? They had this launch, mm. the pancake swap launch. I remember launch. that launch. Um, before that, the pre-prod, mm. I became so curious about the whole thing. The whole crypto world. And then one of the one of the leaders, I mean the pioneers of venture, oh, was trying to this. What's this all about? I kept, what I kept, are they I kept, talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's why when you ask the how is NFT different from other cryptocurrencies, yes. NFT means non-fungible token. So again, NFTs are non-fungible while the other which means, hindi sila Yes, non -rep NFT is represented a partic is representing, I should say, a particular digital asset, like for example, a picture, a photo, a video clip, a music clip. The digital, because ikaw lang may mm -hmm. eh. And it is encrypted. Yes, diba? exactly. May encryption siya eh. Kung baga parang, parang yung may serial uh -oh. number. I think NFT. Yeah, the NFT marketplace is just perfect yes. at this time. To mug NFT marketplace now, and this is gonna happen. Welcome to Mug NFT Marketplace na every Monday po ito, 8 p.m. At ngayon, meron po kami isang super special kasama, isang guest. Siya po ay isang kilalang film and digital and also TV director. Siya po ay isang live and virtual event staging creator, writer, script writer, and copywriter. Siya po ay si... I'm Derek Yang. Yang Albano Grande. Welcome to the show, Derek. Hi, Diane. It's nice to see you again. It's nice to uh -oh. be with you again and working with you again. Uh -oh. Nag-work po kasi kami lagi. Ayan. 
parang ang tagal na. No? Parang ang tagal na. Ilang ba yun? Like last month? Yeah. Oh, yan. Okay, Derek. Welcome to our Mug NFT Marketplace na. And, of course, we have some set of questions. Would you like to say hi sa mga convention natin dyan? <laughs> Magandang gabi, mga convention. I'm excited today because I'm working again with Diana. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. Ayan, Derek. Of course, we all know you from the things that you already do. But not everybody knows everything. Dahil sa mga viewers naman natin dito, may mga ilang dito na parang yung mga kabataan na hindi pa natin, alam mo yun, naabutan before. So, ito mga millennials natin, kung hindi pa po kayo familiar kay Derek Yeng, tatanungin po natin sa kanya lahat yan. And then sa mga alam na, alam nyo na yon. So ito na guys, starting with our first question for Huwag Derek. Huwag lang masyadong personal ha. Medyo personal natin kasi Derek, ano, I heard gusto mo maging NFT queen. Joke lang. That's my ultimate goal. Hindi nga, seryoso. Are you sure? Kasi here, pwede natin gawin yun. No. So, seriously, ito, let's start with your first question. We all know that you're a director and writer. Siyempre alam ko yon, but for the sake of the viewers naman, like I said, no, there will be some viewers natin dyan na medyo bago sila dito sa amin. So, can you tell us about yourself and your career dito sa showbiz? Diana, I, I think I forgot to thank you for that generous introduction earlier. Yeah. <laughs> sa dami ng title na binigay mo, <laughs> feeling ko parang ano eh, parang all-around beauty siya ng tawag <laughs> dapat eh, di ba? <laughs> Pero, ang galing mo. <laughs> anyway, what else can I say? You have mentioned everything already. Yeah. Um, I started my career here um, as in this industry as mm -hmm. a uh, video production assistant. Uh -huh. I am, by profession, a teacher. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yes. Teacher of... Uh-huh. High school. Oh, wow! That's I, I, new yes. to me. Yes. I'm an education graduate. Unbelievable. And then, um, after a while, after a while, I have a cousin who's into this business. Uh -huh. She brought me into a taping. Uh -huh. And then I, fe I suddenly felt like, you belong. Parang, parang dito ako, ha? Oh, <laughs> diba? Oh my God, <laughs> parang no. Parang uh -huh. And then, that was the experience. And then, she got me as a PA. Uh -huh. and, and the director, and she was the PM. Mm. So they felt like, well, effective. The director was so happy yeah. that she was talking to me and said, "Parang siguro marunong maganyan ganyan ganyan." Oh. So I became PD. Okay. After that, <laughs> after for the that, ones who are not familiar, yeah, that's you, production designing. Yeah. Yes, and then you became a production manager. Oh wow! And then um, it was time to go. My family is in the U.S. Uh -huh. So I have to fly because alam mo naman, pag yeah. nandun sila, gusto nila, lahat nandun doon. Tsaka, malay natin, yeah. di ba? And oh, then when I was it. there, mm. I wasn't so happy. Na mi mismo yung ginagawa mm -hmm. mo dito. Because it was just starting. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It was just like freshly five years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kaya sabi ko, kulang. So I, I did use of the time when I was there, uh -huh. I studied. Mm -hmm. Tapos balik ako. To max now. <laughs> nice. Direct. And then okay. the rest is history. The rest is history. That's great. That's great. Now, uh, was it like, well, I think from what the quenta that you told us, alam ko naman hindi naman yun galing sa pagiging bata mo na parang alam mo na talaga. Pero I would like to still ask you that was that your dream? Did you, did you discover that later on since na feel mo na parang I belong here, this is really my industry, this is what I want to do. Did you feel like it was your dream to be a director and writer from the very be beginning, like a childhood dream? Or did you think na parang teacher na lang ako? You know what I mean? Yeah. In my childhood, I feel artista na ako. Talaga, <laughs> Derek! Oh, that's nice! Yeah. Um, I sing, uh -huh. I dance. Uh -huh. I in, in, in my elementary days, I do declamations and all that. Whenever there's program, it's it. There can't be no yank uh -huh. in the stage. Wow! It was like An that. Talaga. Yeah, it was like that. Um, I didn't know about the industry yet when I was young. Alam mo pag bata ka hindi yeah, mo naman. Hindi mo alam. You're not too uh -oh. sure. Uh -oh. And then and then, I there was a teacher in high school. Na wow, gusto ko maging ganito. She was so good. Uh -huh. Sabi ko gusto ko maging ganito. That led me to taking education course okay. but eventually the fate 
really, Aww. you know, you do not really know. Yeah, <laughs> when we're young, diba? Mm -hmm. we don't know. Tapos, ayun na, naramdaman ko nung nag-attend ako sa taping, parang ito. Oh. This is what I want oh, well, This is it. Oh. And it doesn't feel like work. Uh -huh. Because you love what you're doing. That's facts. Uh -huh. it, it, Regardless how tired you are, yeah. days of walang tulog, di ba? And direct, I must say, uh, for the ones that are not familiar with how production works, one thing is to be in front of the camera and just get there and do your job. But what the production goes through is not a joke. So, <laughs> talagang ano yan, passion oh, talaga yun. Oh, and you, I, I think you're more effective if you're younger. <laughs> yeah. But you're way wiser when you're when you're a little yes, bit more experienced. Yes, ngayon ang hirap na magpuyat. <laughs> well, ngayon, medyo lucky na tayo ngayon mga convention dahil we can do things from online. We yes. can even purchase things. We can even own our own money and our own mm -hmm. art That's online. Right. Oh, diba? so, That's right. Moving on, I have a lot of questions for you, Derek Yang. So here, what was the most difficult project? <laughs> that you worked on. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to single out any project I know. because each project is totally different from me. And also mention names because mm -hmm. it's iba iba <laughs> talaga. Iba But iba can talaga. you give us like a little bit like something na but if ever there are aspiring directors out there or even artistas, the people that would love to be part of this business na alam nila wag nyo gawin to. Kasi Mahirap eh. It's it, it doesn't make it easier for everybody on the set. <laughs> diba may mga ganun yes. na parang may mga basta. Uh, uh, hindi para sa akin yung question. Para para difficult? I, I don't want to call it difficult. Maybe let's challenging? call it challenging. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mas, mas magandang pakinggan yun. Yes, yes. Difficult. Baka may masaktan. Correct, correct. correct, correct. No, one, mm, it's a fact. There are hard clients. Yes. Diba? <laughs> Alam mo yun. Actually, pinag-usapan pa namin yun. Off-cam. Kasi, especially if you're working with commercial stuff. Because it's... Diba? You have to please a lot of people. Yes, yes. This group of people, the agency, uh -huh. the client, the... Yes. Right? And then, meticulous yung mga ginagawa. Mm -hmm. Dahil, syempre, may mga branding, ganyan. Pero, tell us. So, what is so difficult oh. for, like, being a director, being a scriptwriter, what is the most challenging sa you? Eh, di ba kanina nga sabi ko, oh. it doesn't feel like work. It doesn't. But if ever, <laughs> if ever, there was like, like, ito, sa question I can't remember anymore. Why? Wala, oh, Because I don't want to linger on those, you know, the difficult times. As long Very as you're, good. you love what you're doing, yes. you're enjoying, yes. so good. Yeah. <laughs> di ba? Oh, direct. Di ba? I love that. I love this that. This is the reason why we're here. Yes. Dahil mayroon tayong isusugod. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, sometimes, uh, mga convention, if you feel like, ah, hindi po ito para sa akin, Baka hindi. Pero, rethink. Pero, rethink. Pero, if you feel like, tamad ka lang, and then you just feel like, <laughs> diba? tamad ka na lang. It's not gonna work. Hindi, diba? It, it's work. And you have to really give your all. And then, once you're there, ako, mag-work naman yan. It's really for you. And, so good nga. <laughs> and you become effective. Yes. If you like what you're if doing. If you love what you're doing. Uh -oh. So, wag pilitin. Uh -oh. May importante diyan. Ito, a fourth question for you is, paano ka naman, napunta sa Vention. Can you tell us kung paano ka nila napayag na mag-join ka dito sa Team Vention kahit busy ka sa career at sa mga businesses mo? Yeah, Kasi alam ko, busy ka eh. <laughs> busy kang tao. Paano mo nagawa um, yun? They had this lunch. Hmm. The pancake swap I remember lunch. that lunch. Um, you were there. You were the host. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. That was last month. Yes. Di ba? Um, before that, the pre-prod, hmm. I became so curious about, about the whole thing. The whole crypto world. Uh, oh, uh -huh. the whole crypto world. <laughs> and then one of the, one of the leaders, I mean the pioneers of yeah. Vention, uh -huh. was trying to internalize what's this all about. I kept, what I kept, are they I kept, talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really hard to understand at first. At first. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know what he said? Alam sabi niya? Casually, he said. Uh -huh. Direct kasi pang millennial to eh. <laughs> Can you imagine he said that? Not challenge ako lalo. And then you said, e I am a millennial. What? <laughs> Just Pag kidding. Pag-uwi ko ng bahay, <laughs> nagbasa ko na nagbasa, nag-search ako sa internet, what's this all about? Um, we had a client, a prospective client, mm -hmm. a year ago, mm -hmm. talking about this as well. Hindi, okay. lang, hindi lang nagtuloy yung project. Ah. Kaya medyo... Half baked lang yung knowledge ko about it, and then I became interested because from all the researches yes, that I yes. did, 
the world is saying yeah. that this is the future of the business. I believe. Oh, uh oh, at uh, at uh, you see how it works, yeah. and and if you dig deeper, you will understand. Yeah, yeah. This can Actually, happen. Actually, I have this comment. Uh, th there was this. I'm also doing my own champion research wow. thing as well because we yeah. have to, you know. But uh, I've also been hosting like a lot of prior to to Venshana, uh, on the prior like before champion before mm -hmm. pandemic when they were like launching all of this cryptocurrency world. Uh -huh. I got a lot of like corporate hostings for those things, and I was like, I need to learn this. Yes, I need of to learn course. this. And then on the pandemic, mas lalo siya na the banner flourish, and then now. What I believe in, and I think people, you know, you guys can do your own research and believe what you want to believe in. But just like we have followers, and then people check how how credible you are, or what you are doing is yeah, that's right, makes sense, or who are you through your you, the, numbers. You just don't listen from the the source. You do an extra mile yeah. in researching the validity of what he's saying. Right. But I feel like the, the the future for people will be just like your because your digital wallet or whatever you want to call it, your cryptocurrency value of your persona, whatever you own there, is open for everybody to see. So ngayon, ay, ifollow ko si ganito kasi ang dami niyong followers. No, ifollow ko si ganito, ang dami niyong NFT, ang dami niyong <laughs> cryptocurrency. It's going to be a different... Yeah. Uh, Yabangan mm -hmm. or a different how do you measure who is what? So I think that we have to think digital. Yeah. It's where we're going. That's for, where we're no? going. So here, before Vention, were you already aware of cryptocurrency? Well, we talked about no, that. Just no, a no, little bit. Just a little bit. But I have to research really and to yeah. understand. Until now, I'm still I'm, you know. You're still adapting. doing it. Pero may mga coins ka na. Yeah. You have. <laughs> oh, and would you like I'm to tell us? Hopeful about it? na. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you, of course, you have to also be careful. Right? Now, of come, we were talking about some stuff. Sometimes, mm -hmm. some people approach you with things that are not eligible. That's why so, I said, scam is real. Yes. Yeah. Ingat po. <laughs> Makavention, magingat po kayo dito. At least tayo safe. All yes. right, Derek. Derek, thank you. Those are our first five questions for you. Of course, we're gonna be back with more. More Harder of questions? You. No, no, man. I, I guess we'll dig deeper. All right, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. We'll be back more convention. Here's a mug NFT marketplace now. Oh,
In other words, please be true. In other words, in other words, in other words, I love you. back. Welcome again to Mug NFT Marketplace na ako po si Diana Menezes at kasama natin ngayon si Derek Yang Grande. Hi Derek Yang again. Hello again. again. <laughs> We're back here. Ayan, we took a short break no? and we had so many questions for you on the first segment. Ngayon, may questions pa na naman kami sa inyo, of course. And syempre, mga convention, this is tungko sa cryptocurrency and NFTs. Of course, we're gonna dig deeper into that because we know Alam mo naman yung mga ginagawa mo ngayon and you're very very much into it right now. So we would like to ask you so that you can give your own definition lang naman para sa ating mga convention. How are NFTs different from the other cryptocurrencies or the non-NFT cryptocurrencies? Diana, before I answer, I realized when I was trying to learn about this mm -hmm. how difficult it is to understand and to explain. It if it becomes too uh -oh. technical. Yes. Diba? Ang daming terminologies. May parang madali siyang intindihin. Pero, ha, tama ba yung Tagalog ko, guys? <laughs> <laughs> okay lang yan kasi I'm always bulol. But ito, parang it's easier to understand than to actually put into words. That's right. Diba? That's right. That's right. Um, that's why when you ask the how is NFT different from other cryptocurrencies? Yes. The cryptocurrencies, Examples is Bitcoin, mm -hmm. the Ethereum, yeah. the all the other yes. currencies, all, the, all other the other currencies. NFT means non-fungible token, mm -hmm. while all the other cryptocurrencies are fungible. Right. So again, NFTs are non-fungible, while the other which means are, hindi sila mapapalitan, Yes, non-replaceable oh, oh. and one of a kind. Why didn't we say one of a kind? Diba? Because they are a type of digital token where every token is different and it holds unique characteristics. Mm -hmm. Paano ba natin papaliwanag na naman to? Okay. NFT is represented a partic is representing, I should say, a particular digital asset like for example, a picture, a photo, mm -hmm. a video clip, a music clip, uh, a tweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it can be a collectible talking about it yes it this can is connected to my next question to you mm -hmm. why do you think nfts are suddenly on the rise in the crypto space all over the world and what do you think fuels this craze just like what the example you used there was a tweet sold for millions of dollars <laughs> you know guys nft <laughs> I, I have been watching um comments from the business sector uh -huh. they also wonder why why are you buying crazy things? I mean, it doesn't mean anything to them, right. to the regular people. Pero magtataka ka. Mm -hmm. Million, million na yes. bebenta. Yes. Diba? The it was first... the first ever tweet by the CEO of Twitter. Yeah. And then somebody decided to buy the NFT. Tama. <laughs> For millions of... Mm -hmm. well, I think one of the reasons is you get the bragging right of correct, owning it, correct, right? Correct, correct. The times are changing. Uh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. And, and you were asking, the, bakit, bakit ito siyang, ngayon? Ito right? nga. Oh, oh. They the were way. just wondering, um, at the onset of the pandemic, uh -huh. big la rin siya ganun. Because Changing. one said, one even said, mm. baka wala nang nagagawa ang tao sa bahay. Kaya, I mean, no? <laughs> I mean, they're so bored. That can be one reason. <laughs> oh. Another is, artists, and uh, people need a venue. Yes, we need we need a way mm -hmm. to, to express. Para inabas mo yung oh, iyong oh. masterpieces, Correct. right? Because sarado ang museum, yes. sarado ang art galleries. Yes, you yes, know, yes, yes, yes. they cannot just. And stop. also, no, Derek Yang, we must admit that before, natutuwa naman talaga tayo sa cinema, sa TV. We still do, but iba pa din siya kapag you may hawak ka doon sa schedule mo and then you can watch what you want like syempre nowadays we have platforms like Netflix 
lahat ng napapanood natin kahit sa TV or sa cinema, mapapanood mo na rin sa mm-hmm. cellphone mo, sa sakamay mo na lang. Everything that you desire is just in, in your hands. So mm-hmm. I think the money should also be there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nagkakabalyo. <laughs> Nagkakabalyo din, di ba? And even our art, like you said, no, to express yourselves in times like this, mm-hmm. you, you need a different venue. And I think NFTs are the new Yeah, thing. the NFT marketplace is just perfect yes. at this time. Ito, ano masasabi mo naman, Derek Yang, tungkol sa Vention at bilang isang insider ka sa showbiz, tingin mo ba sa kakagating ba ito ng mga celebrities at ordinary Filipinos or mga tao dito sa atin, do you think they're gonna embrace NFT marketplace <laughs> and Vention? <laughs> Oo, sabi nga natin kanina, di ba, wala silang, I mean, yes. there's no platform mm-hmm. right now sa rado lahat. Diba? I think this is perfect at this perfect time. Coming from a director like you, that mm-hmm. you had the adjustment just the same as we did, mga talents. Tama. Paano yun? Like, do you think this helps? Yeah, it will. Diba? It, will. It, it, it gives you another avenue mm-hmm. aside from what you're regularly doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, ang dami-dami nating art, ano? Very, very talented artists Lalo here in our country. Lalo dito sa Yeah, there's yeah. a lot. That's right, that's right. Singers, singers. You painters. will be surprised. You'll yeah. be surprised. Ang dami sobra. Even yung mga hindi mo kilala. Yes, diba? I You'll know. You'll be surprised if you just dig deeper into it. And, and um, I think, I think this is also a way of exposing your and masterpieces. Yes. Oh, oh, giving them an opportunity. Kasi mm, diba, dati, tama. kailangan mo talaga may kilala ka. Mm-hmm. And who can do and who can do an exhibit? You have to have money to put up your exhibit and an investor Here, or a sponsor. Now in the marketplace, dina, everything is accessible tama. and the whole world will see it. Yes, that's perfect. So, Vention will be launching the Philippines' first NFT marketplace. It's us here. Pwede mo na, pwede mo ba kami bigyan ng clue or idea kung ano yung mga unang ilo-launch ng mga NFTs? At meron po tayo mga sports or showbiz celebrities na may balak gumawa ng NFT dito sa Vention. Naku! I think I know the answer for this. But of course, that's your question. Direk well, yeah. initially, Vention is catering for the artists and celebrities. Mm-hmm. Initially, why initially. am I saying initially? Because definitely, lalawak pa ito. The for dami. sure. And I hope um, so. Yeah. yeah. Um, Local artists, mm. their masterpieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Si yeah. mga artwork, yes. digital art. Yes. Um, you know, mga paintings, yes. sculptures, yes. Yes. all of this, and and these are real artists. Yes. You know, hindi naman hindi sa ibang bansa. I mean, uh-huh. worldwide, it has started two, three years ago. Ba? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sa atin, this is the first. Yes. This is first. the first in our country. Vention is bringing, is giving us a platform, an NFT marketplace for Filipino artists and celebrities. Yes. Now that NFT are globally, they are globally acceptable, just like Bitcoin, just like any cryptocurrency. But NFTs are different. So, do you think it's, this is a good opportunity for people to earn some money if they are not interested in selling? Or creating their own NFTs, meaning um, now that the NFT are, NFT is acceptable, would you be like, for example, if people want to sell it but they are not artists, do you think it is still a good opportunity for them? Yeah, because Parang, you can you can buy it first, uh-huh, uh-huh. Right? and then later on put it on sale again. So you can really trade it. Mm, mm-hmm. It's it's a selling and trading platform. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's for everybody. Yes, it is. So kung may parang vision ka sa isang artist na alam mo ganyan, you guys could actually help. Kung meron po kayong favorite, tapos may, di ba, hindi pa nila I, I, alam. I would like also to, to, you know, to discuss, eh, bakit celebrities? Anong gagawin mo mga celebrities? Ah, uh, iniisip ko na rin yun. Kasi Oo. parang for me, so, yeah. ano siya, parang probably when you have your songs that you would like them to be uniquely owned by one person lang or maybe you have a uh, a stage play na siya lang pwede makita or pero I, I think we would limit it into shorter types of a perfect, entertainment. <laughs> a perfect example would be halimbawa isang mm. sikat, sikat sikat na sikat na artista uh-huh. 
what anong anong pwede niyang pakinabangan sa ating marketplace Oo. maybe in terms of collectibles pwede. yung mga luma ng posters hmm. sino nangongolekta ng 1925 na pelikula ni na may poster ah, pa that can be maganda. sold in NFT mm -hmm. maybe ang pagtanggap ng first award yeah picture of that mm -hmm. can be sold also or because the, you have you have the right of owning it already yes or even the clothes that a person yes when they, rin yun. actually i saw heart evangelista she was doing this painting and then she said that now whenever you sell your nft from your painting some people they destroy the actual painting itself that's the physical the physical uh, so ngayon pero with her naman she will give it to the person that got it <laughs> which i love that so yeah um, i think we have that option as well diba? um they call it bundle uh -huh. you, you you get the, the digital, digital copy mm -hmm. and you also get the physical but i feel like there's this uh value for the the, the digital because ikaw lang may mm -hmm. eh. and it is encrypted yes diba? exactly may encryption siya eh. kumbaga parang parang yung may serial uh -oh. number ganun imagine niyo in the future i'm I, of course i'm tripping on the nft already but imagining mo na you're so proud of what you own that that becomes your background and your profile mama, mama. Yeah. and ikaw lang may ganyan Pwede nila gayahin, pero ikaw yung, <laughs> ikaw lang yun. Uh -huh. I mean, it can <laughs> be copied, yun. really. Yeah, That's yeah, right. It can yeah. be copied. But, they will know who is the real person. Mm -hmm. Kasi, because it's in the blockchain. And it's public. Again, it's public, guys. Uh -oh. Everybody can check. That's what I'm saying, you know, from following and followers and credibility, people are going to start looking at how much NFT or cryptocurrency you have. So, sooner, sooner. Para din nung una, di ba? Nung unang nagka-internet, hirap na hirap din ako. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tsaka nung unang hindi pa natin na parang, ay, I friend ko to kasi ang dami niyang followers. Walang ganon, it wasn't a brand yeah, yeah. acceptance. And, Now it's a brand. And we're lucky because we have an NFT marketplace we're already. We're very lucky with Vention VNT, of course, yes. for bringing the first NFT marketplace here in the Philippines. Ayan. Very good. Diba? Exciting. It's very going to be an exciting. I mean, the, the next few months coming, It's going to be exciting because we are, you asked me like, kanina, di ba? Mm -hmm. Sino ba kaya ang sasali dito? We are in negotiation with interesting personalities. Ah, okay. And, and mukhang... Mukhang maging maganda. Mm -hmm. Sige, mukhang maganda abangan po natin yun. It's, it's still, you know, we cannot disclose it yet. <laughs> okay, I, I would understand that. Well, even I am also very interested in creating NFTs. We'll take a short break and we'll be back later with AMA or Ask Me Anything from our netizens. This is how to create and sell your NFTs. Step 1. User signs up and registers an account on Vention NFT Marketplace platform. Step 2. The user is then required to set up a crypto wallet and connect to Vention NFT Marketplace. Step 3. Now, we arrive at the initial NFT creation step. The user can upload a digital art or collectible to showcase their work. Step 4. While listing the asset for sale, a user has two options. Setting a fixed price or auctioning the item. And finally, choosing a bid. Step 5. Assets now pass the platform moderation. Step 6. 
once the new NFT is approved, potential customers can find them in the sales listing. Step 7. The NFT owner can begin with accepting bids. Step 8. When the auction ends, the platform notifies token owners about top bids. Then, Step 9. The NFT marketplace platform regulates and approves the transfer of digital assets and funds. How an NFT marketplace works? NFT marketplaces allow sellers to sell their digital products, and the buyers can buy these products using blockchain currencies. Once someone buys an NFT, they get a token, which contains information about the product, its creator, and the ownership. NFTs work with smart contracts and token standards. Smart contracts are self-executing, which contain all the information about the buyer, product, and the ownership of the product. Smart contracts are generated when a successful transaction takes place. Vention app on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. back again and now let's take some questions sa ating mga netizens from Twitter and also sa ating Facebook page. May mga tanong sila dito at ang unang question here ay from Mark of Las Pinas from Twitter. Sabi niya, do you have any plan for burning tokens in the future to reduce the supply of the token and increase its investment attractiveness? From Mark. Okay, Mark. So, of course, I prepare an answer for you. Siyempre, kasi alam ko na yun. Nakita ko yung mga tweets nyo, ang mga questions nyo sa Facebook. So, depending on the market's response to our NFT marketplace and prevailing price of Vention Token, we might initiate our third token burn event in the future. Pero sa future pa yan, Mark. So, moving on, we have more questions from you guys here. Also, our other netizen here. Tingnan natin si Emelu of from Bacoor. Wow, ah. Ito, Emelu from Bacoor. Ang question niya ay, the launching price of Vention Token is only RS 0.18. Uh, does it have a great future like other tokens like Zune or NTR will have a super boost in the coming days? All right. So, Emelu, all the way in Bacoor, kamusta naman po kayo dyan? Thank you for your question. So, the develop development team natin, as well the solid Vention supporters natin dito, mga kavention natin, wants Vention to have a great future, of course. And this was was talked about during our launching, no? Yung kasama natin po si Derek Yang, yung in-interview pa natin kanina. Just like Bitcoin and nigh other crypto cryptocurrency, the price of each Vention token will be dictated by its supply and demand. Just like any other cryptocurrency, the development team job is to actually promote and implement the use case of Vention, which they are on top of what they're doing right now. So the community will decide the rest of including the price of each token. So ganon po siya, it's supply and demand. So it depends, no, MLU, but we're working hard to make everything perfect. So yeah, we have more questions from you guys. Mga convention, just send your questions sa ating Twitter and Facebook. The next question naman ay from KC of Makati. Wow, ah. Ito, KC from Makati. What is the main goal of Vention App? Alam mo, pinag-uusapan po namin yun lagi, actually. Even, yun nga, like I said, no, even during the, the launch, I remember very well, the, dahil ako yung host nun, they were really telling us uh, that one of their main goals is to help the Filipino artists and of course to give back. So here, this is the question that I, this is the answer I prepared for you, Casey. Vention wants to be the place where art collectors, crypto enthusiasts, traders, artists, even celebrities, and also even the starting artists nothing dito, they get together, they talk, they buy, sell, trade, they create NFTs. But like I said, Kanina, I open up to you guys. Now, I, I want to start my own NFT as well. And we have 
upcoming na abang ano naman yan, yung mga artists natin sa Pilipinas na ilalabas po ng mga NFT. So, Vincent wants to spearhead the Philippines awakening to the advantages of cryptocurrency and most specifically ang digital art, ang NFT. So, yan po ang goal ng Vention and hopefully lahat po kayo, katulad nyo po, KC from Makati will help us to spread our word out there para more people can join Vention and of course the first NFT marketplace here in the Philippines. Thank you so much, Dira King, for joining us here at ano masasabi mo naman ang message mo sa mga ka-Vention natin dito? It's my pleasure, Diana. Thank you, um, <laughs> I would like to invite the countless exceptionally talented Filipino artists and celebrities nationwide, mula apare hanggang hulo, who are watching this program right now. Especially, of course, my friends in the industry and in the world of arts. Hindi mo na itatanong dati rin akong dancer. Stage Talaga? actor. Wow. <laughs> lahat na nga. Lahat na nga take na hold. Sayo. Let's take hold of this latest digital business craze that's now here in our country. Yes. Um, tangkilikin po natin dahil nandito na siya. It's specially made for the Filipinos. Vention app NFT marketplace just for Filipino artists and celebrities. Special made for us. The very first in the Philippines, we now have a venue or a platform to sell and trade our work of art, mm -hmm. masterpieces, treasured collectibles, and memorabilia of your past projects. Thank you very much, Direki and Grande, for joining us here. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Stay safe, Lagi. Ito, sa mga convention natin dyan, lahat ng mga netizens na nagpadala pa ng mga questions via Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next time at mga convention. This is about Vention App, the first NFT marketplace in the Philippines. Vention App is now offering this NFT marketplace a first in the Philippines to our fellow Filipino celebrities and artists so that they too can sell their digital creation like music, like movies, anything that artists can think about and they would like to make it digital you're welcome here sa Vention app and Vention app is also creating its own nft marketplace so mga convention we will see you again every monday at 8 pm with me diana Menez, your host here dito sa ating mug nft marketplace now we'll see you again keep safe and god bless